Hi everyone. Um, happy belated fit to flatter Friday. Um, I started this video on Friday. I posted it out, um, kept looking and it was going round and it was faded. So it was obviously on its way. Then it's disappeared completely. So I've tried again this morning and I, <laughs> this is wobbling because my cat's just got on here. Um, hello, are people there? Well, I never. I didn't expect to be doing this. I'm just waving. Hello. Hi, Sharon. Annika. Janice. I'm just going to move the cat. Come off. Because I've, I've rested this on a, a box and she's just jumped on it. Come on. Yay. Uh, right. I have, I'm up to here with trying to get this fit to flatter video on, um, on the usual route. So I thought, why not do it live? It seems to work much better. So I'm going to go through it quickly just in case something goes wrong. Um, but I'm just getting it out there while I've got everything set up. So let me look. Let me look what you're all talking. Hi, Janice. Oh, you're an amazing crowd. Right, I'm just waving, pressing all these buttons. See what happens. Um, OK, we talked a little bit about dark manipulation. I've got to put these back on. And it's a big subject. And if you've mentioned to me dark manipulation, I can't believe where you were all coming from. I just thought I'd do this quickly. I didn't think any, anybody was out there. Um, so dark manipulation, if you've mentioned it, it's because you know what you're talking about. You've heard it somewhere. It's usually associate, associated with pattern cutting or design. So you've been on a workshop, etc. Big subject. You need books. You need to talk to tutors, teachers, the right people. But I just wanted to briefly touch on it for the sake of our simplicity one, two, double, seven. So quickly to summarise what it actually means, dark, dark manipulation means that the patterns will put a dart in a specific area, it does make me laugh, um, in a specific area so it's good for you. So when you buy your pattern the darts are already in the right places, that's fantastic. Now they're in the right places for the actual um, picture that you're looking at, the shape, the design, etc. But you can move those darts for two reasons. You might want to change the design. So actually it's got a seam here, but you want it to the top. So it's a princess line. Or you might want to fit it, um, change it so it fits better, so it's fit to flatter. You might put your seams... Um, in a, a certain area and you want the darts incorporated into that seam because it fits you better. So in other words, you could go up under your bust, out in your bust, back up to the top. For example, a great example actually, sleeveless garments and it can often gape under the arm. So if you had a dart there instead of on the bust, let's say, that enables you to close that dart even closer at the seam end, but it's still releasing the same amount as the bust dart would have in the right area over the bust. So that's kind of what dart manipulation is, is to put that dart anywhere, literally anywhere around the garment. But it also means the dart doesn't have to be a dart so just from what I've just described, it's accommodating fullness. And you can do it not by stitching, but just by pleating it over. It will still create the same amount of fullness. So it could be a pleat, a gather, a tuck, stitched, you name it, but you can change the design of it. Now the reason we're talking about it, if you remember, I made my first uh, 1277 in brocade. And it fitted great um, across the neck. And then I went on to make two more out of scuba. And both of those, because they're stretched fabric, the garment grew. And that's what happens. That's why you have designs that are specifically for stretches and some for brocade. Doesn't mean you can't try it out and get it to work, but the garment did grow a little bit, which is not a problem because I've just machined it all in everywhere else. But it was too late at that stage because I, for the neckline because I'd got a gaping neck. So I was left with just the choice of stitching those out. And rather than just take a chunk out, I stitched it into two darts. I was happy with that. Fitted great around the neckline. Loved it. 
continued as I said I made another one happy to do it this one however um, just this is my latest little one I showed you the fabric to show you I was going to make this so it's another tunic with leggings um, black in the back combined fabric I've made this and it's not gaping around the neck exactly the same fit same pattern same everything so when you in the future think oh what have I done wrong this time you may not have honestly these things uh, I want to write a book and it's going to be entitled how to outwit a piece of fabric because sometimes they honestly can get the better of you they do their own thing they've got their own natural characteristics so just handle it don't be scared of it and don't think it's something you've done wrong but I actually didn't need darts in here but some of you have come across it and you didn't want to do a dart here and you've asked me can I manipulate the dart into the bust the existing bust suit shabby sorry darling my gorgeous little cat <laughs> that's why I'll start waving around because she's going on this wobbly box um, so what that means is I've drawn the front of the pattern and there is our bus start that we've all come to recognize now we're getting really familiar with this uh, pattern and I know let's say that I'm going to need to take something out of that neckline so what I would do is draw from the neck down to the bus point okay so I'm going to take that piece and cut through the point that I've just done. Take some scissors. The thing is, when I did the video on Friday, it ended up 20 minutes. Come on, shabby darling. Um, I, I, it was 20 minutes because I was rattling on thinking I'd do a quick one, but it ended up 20 minutes. And that's why I think it wouldn't go. So then I came to do it again today to think I was going to do a 10 minute one and it just kept cutting out. I thought why not do it live if I can talk for hours <laughs> if it's live because I found that out on the um, coffee and the wine evening. But like I say, I didn't expect anybody to be there but I thought you'd come across it at some point but it's great, honestly it's great to see you all there. So what I'm going to do, actually I was going to say close that but I'm not. What I'm going to do now is cut through the dart the bus dart so you would draw draw around your pattern so you're not chopping up your pattern okay so hopefully you're with me so far all I've got is the original bodice pattern and I've cut to the point of the bus dart from both ends but I've still got it attached then I'm going to close the amount in the neck that I found that I was having to remove. So I've closed that. So that neckline, let's put it back up here. So the neckline now is smaller. So in other words, it's not gaping. And all it's done is open up a teensy wincy little amount in the bus dart. So you've hardly done anything. The, the extra that's arrived is in the dart, not in the measurement of the seam. So it's not making your seam any longer or any bigger, any different. All it's doing is actually making the bus dart ever so slightly fuller because it's wider. So when you close it, it creates more fullness. And that's what you need more fullness here to accommodate the fact that you've made it much tighter in the top. So it's actually really easy. There's nothing to worry about like you thought you might, well one you might not have gone there. It's so scary a thought because it's something you haven't done before. But literally have a go. If you've got things happening, get rid of them. So I'm talking the neckline, but it could be in, under the arm. Close it cut into it from the other end and you'll find just the, nat the natural movement of closing that will open up the other area providing you stitch it back together again um, it's going to be the same size the same jigsaw etc 
so I hope you all get that really easy um, so I'm going to leave it there next week I'm going to come back I am actually I'll, because I've got a bit more time than I thought I'm taking this phone in to get looked at there's obviously something wrong with it um, and I I think already we need to get the technology up a little bit because I literally hadn't made if you remember I'd never done a video live or not in January and I hadn't even taken a selfie till just before Christmas so we've got we've gone like um, MGM really quickly and so I think I need to get to know more about the technology side of it so you guys keep helping me you keep sending me messages and I'm ever so grateful um, but I you're just fantastic I really feel like we're doing this together and I'm thank, I'm really grateful of that but before I go I've got a question I'm going to I've got my next one lined up and it's obviously Colville again remember Colville sales on today ladies at four o'clock so I bought some more fabric both a scuba different colorway because I'm thinking summer now um, so I'm going to do the one two seven seven again I think I'm going to do a no, I'm going to do a tunic in this. I think it'll make, it's got a kind of an Indian sort of feel to it. So it's going to make a nice tunic. Those two colours are going to create the top. I don't feel comfortable making pink leggings. It doesn't seem right somehow. They would look great. And if I was going on holiday, that would be a different matter. So do you think black leggings, the same sort of, length of this I've got on I don't know if I'm far enough back so these these sort of leggings in black there may be black flats can I wear with that pink that's my question to you and that's it please um, ask any questions it's been great talking to you fab knowing you're all there and um, I'll be back next week next week I'm going to talk about something that I talked about at the very beginning in fit to flatter but it was all just by um, posting and I want to, we're kind of going to move away now from the 1277 and I want to talk to you about changing the seams completely from darts to um, a princess line because for the female shape a princess line is perfect because you can you can create seams and details with it you know within those seams so I want you to understand how you can take a standard pattern and turn it into whatever shape you want start separating the pieces which means when you put them back together again you can add curve take away do whatever you want all right that was a quick visit but I really loved it and fantastic to see you there let's give some waves Rachel Jane smashing it oh thanks Kathy what are you doing there that's my cousin yay Mary Ellen Sue oh more waves more waves okay I'm off for now have a great Sunday I'm going back into the other room to get the dress ready for the wine evening so the next dress on Tuesday evening it's going to have a little bit of a, a Vivian Westwood feel to it. So I hope you're ready for that. All right, lovelies. Take care. Put the pink would be great too. Black goes with everything. Yes. I so I know I, I like black. Sue, hi. All right, I'm off because I'll be here all day. I could just talk to you. Don't forget the sale though. Let's all meet on the um, Colville sale. Take care. Thumbs up. This picture's coming up from America. Oh, I just love you all. Bye.